Good afternoon. Welcome to Splash Math product demo. My name is Rakesh and I'm a product demo expert here. Today I will walk you through Splash Math, which is an interactive fun learning math supplement for K to 5. It works well on desktops, laptops, Chromebooks and iPads. I'm glad to say over 12 million students and teachers in the United States already use Splash Math. The entire demonstration is segregated into three parts. Teachers dashboard where teachers will log in, add classrooms, add students to those classrooms and assign them the tasks. Students dashboard where students will do the maths practice and reporting which will be done within the teachers dashboard itself. Let us quickly see how simple is it to sign up for Splash Math on a website. We see teachers get started for free, so it is as simple as clicking it with one click. Put in the data here, the required information to get started with the creation of an account. I am not going to create an account because I already have one demonstration account signed up and ready for me. So let's begin with the teacher's dashboard. I have the login credentials for the teacher's dashboard and our teachers will get their login credentials from our account team. So this is how the dashboard for teachers look like. On this page we have class overall stats. It shows problem answered, class accuracy and time spent. Towards this right hand side we see classes. So it has one class, Miss Grace class which has 22 students and teachers can choose to add new class from here or otherwise our account team can help teachers to add classes at the back end. The importance for this teachers dashboard is primarily to assign the assignments to students and to measure the performance for a student and classroom as a whole. So we'll quickly see how the assignments could be given to the students from this dashboard. So within these practices we see these are already assigned to the students so let us see if we scroll it down and see if there is an assignment which is yet not assigned okay so if we see here addition sentences within 10 this is not yet assigned to any of the students or classroom so teacher could select assign practice assign it either to the whole class or to the selected students Towards this left hand side we see we have the curriculum that shows these are the different chapters and within these different chapters we have different practices for the students. Right next to it we have a common core mapping. Splash math is aligned to the common core. For teachers we have teaching tools. These are the basics and the fundamentals which helps teachers to make students learn the mathematics basics before they actually log on to this dashboard and start practicing mathematics. Next is the student performance. So towards this end we see number of students here and corresponding to each student we see their profile information. It says Arthur has spent 35 minutes, 31 minutes, I'm sorry, 334 problems solved out of them 261 are correct it also shows their splash score the overall summary of the performance the detailed report here in terms of pie chart and what all skills he mastered upon and needs improvement in this activity tab it shows Arthur has spent total 31 minutes and these are the days when he actually logged in and spent time on splash math. This was for one of the students similarly we could go to more students information and their profile and get their report. Parents would be interested to know as to what their students are doing. So they'll get the option here to print the report and send it to the parents. So this is how teachers could actually share the report, the progress report with the parents. 
Next is the classroom performance. It gives us a fair view as to how the entire classroom is performing. Here again it shows the overall class stats, the problem answered, accuracy for the class and the total time spent by this class. These are the number of students and towards this end we have various topics and math practices. The data here shows who all have yet not started. This yellow graphic shows they have just started. Red are the needs improvement. Blue is satisfactory and green is mastered respectively. So a teacher gets a fair idea of as to what it is happening within the class and then she could take the preventive measures. Similarly, the same report could be print out with a single click here. Next is the roster. It is impossible for teachers to remember the login credential for all, teach all students. So roster helps teachers within the same. They could actually print the rosters either for each student or as a list and then distribute it amongst the students. So this is how the roster looks like with the login credentials and yes teachers can choose very simple passwords for their students like their role numbers, their names etc. So this was pretty much about the teachers dashboard. Now we will log in into students dashboard and see how does it look like. I have the login credentials for a student which teachers will share with the students so I'll sign in and this is author's account so this is how the student dashboard looks like on top of it here's the profile information the splash score for author and the stars he collected the assignments which are given to Arthur by his teacher. So he could simply resume the assignment where he left or he opt to start a fresh assignment given to him. If you scroll it a bit down, he could do the assignments by default set here. So it's very simple. Arthur just has to resume or start afresh. So let us see if he resumes it and see how does it actually look like. So this student dashboard where they actually practice is very very intuitive when it's a fun while learning. If we see here at this audio button, this helps to repeat the information. If we click here, the system repeats the entire question which is very very beneficial for special aided students. And towards this inside, we see the coins collected by Arthur. So why students most of the time love to get on splash math and do more practice? They have a gamification here. We see aquarium and a jungle as a game. So if you go aquarium here and play a game, they see fishes here, they could just click on it and play with them. So this is how the aquarium game is, is played and it's it's very very fun. It's it's an intuitive and a and a, and an engaging part within our system. We have another game called jungle.
and that's how it looks like. So this was pretty much about the games that we have, one is aquarium, one is jungle and uh, trust our kids love to play games. So this was pretty much about students dashboard. There are very less complications here, it's just that they need to get on to the system, resume and start practicing to earn points to play the games. It was pretty much about the product demonstration. If you have more questions, please do email sales at the rate splashmat.com. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great evening. Goodbye.